what a day. We've heard about the collective behaviors of birds, insects, and primates as complex adaptive systems or CASs. Ian Cousin is one of, if not the leading scientist on agent-based modeling. And we saw some remarkable research from his center on CASs and the simple rules that drive them. You then heard about how systems thinking itself is a CAS and its simple rules are distinction systems, relationships, and perspectives. Later, Laura just spoke about the empirical clarity we're getting about systems thinking and DSRP. Um, it is you know, the, currently the most validated theory in the field of systems thinking today, even while it's been around for much lesser time than, than other uh, frameworks. And not only is systems thinking a CAS, but the various systems we care about are CASs also. So when agent-based modeling is not feasible for all kinds of reasons, uh, and it often isn't in the policy space, for example, we use an agent-based approach, which isn't specifically modeling, but it's it's taking a CAS or agent-based approach. And you heard from a number of panels who use the agent-based approach to tackle their systems X. And we heard from that DSRP can be applied to both our internal world and external world, making a theory and practice that's in alignment with the most recent cognitive science and neuroscience research. Well, and you also saw DSRP systems thinking successfully applied to understand what some of the biggest challenges in social policies, human rights, international conflict, um, which hopefully enlightened you, but also gave you some more ideas of how to apply the moves to your own sort of think X topic. And I'm hoping you now see that when we say think X, we mean it, right? X includes this universal breadth of issues, topics, and domains all of which can be deeply understood using DSRP to um, gain a footing in what are our most sort of seemingly intractable problems. And what's important is that we see that we can have a collective impact through the systems approach and that the field of systems thinking now has a theory that's based on empirical research. And we now know that anyone can learn to be more systemic in their thinking, thus yielding more think X's. That's my favorite part, of course. Now, today has been great and everyone was fantastic. And I wanna tell you with all truth, tomorrow's lineup of speakers is just as impressive as today's. We're gonna to start tomorrow with Dr. James Densley. He, Who is amazing. He's amazing. Everyone is amazing, but he's the co-founder of the Violence Project. And the Violence Project is one of the most respected authorities on mass shootings. And he's gonna come and share his extensive research and expertise on how to systemically address the issue of mass killings. And additionally, our stellar, fantastic, wonderful, amazing STML certificate students are gonna share their in-depth original research that builds off of Dr. Densley's work. And what they did is they analyzed how people think about policy problems and how we can shift their thinking to make more effective policy decisions, especially around the most difficult issues that we face. You're also gonna hear from, Brigad uh, from a Brigadier General from West Point's Systems Engineering Department about how teaching DSRP has changed the way systems, engineering, systems engineers do systems engineering. That's pretty cool. And there's many more featured speakers and panels you can see on the conference website, cornell.systems. And be sure to spread the word about tomorrow as it's not too late to register if some, if you have a friend or a colleague and you think they might benefit from it. We need 8 billion systems thinkers. So we need your help because we can't do it alone. We um, <laughs> and we will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So have a good evening. We hope you enjoyed it or a good day if it's daytime, wherever you are. And thank you so much uh, for being here.